That's destiny, though, right? Destiny. Yeah. Their destiny is about to destiny. <laughs> Nick. <laughs> so, so you think Tupac's destiny had come? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. We all are born to die, and what happens in between that is free choice, free will. Things that we can make decisions to do, whether it be right or whether it be wrong, whether we walk a straight, narrow path or we take the path and take every uh, fork that comes in the road. You know, we're gonna die once we reach our destiny. His destiny was when it happened and how it happened. Again, that's what I mean. God said, before you were born, before I had even written in my book, I knew everything that you would do. But don't you think the fact that Tupac was, you know, violent and he was looking for trouble? Gang members every day go out there violent. Uh, people go to rob banks. They know that they're going to go risk their life whether they get away or not. You know, you know what you're doing but when there, you go to do it. There was sort of two different sides of Tupac, weren't there? The, there was the, the bad boy side. And there was a uh, very intelligent, uh, business, well-mannered side as well. The man was not stupid or dumb by no means. Mm. You know, his mom told me what she used to do to Tupac when uh, he used to get in trouble as a, a child, mm -hmm. would make him read from cover to cover the New York Times in a corner. And he couldn't come out of that room or that corner until he was done with it. And I'm sure, quite sure, that that helped him. It made him who he was as far as his awareness of politics and um, the things that weren't going as he saw that they should have been for his people, meaning the black race. This is Frank Alexander playing us a death threat that he says he received concerning death row records. <laughs> 